you can be able to enjoy fruits. That's why I tell people, I say there is no blessing for a wanderer. There's no, there's no glory for a wanderer. There's no dominion for a wanderer. All the people that have four churches and five churches on earth, they are dead. That is, they attend five churches, three fellowships, and two churches. Now, because you see Elijah to be fellowship, is the reason why God, in his own way, decided to change the name of the church. And so from Sunday, we have a new name, no longer ministries. So instead of Elijah's of our time, international prayer ministries, it shall be called Elijah's of our time, international worship center. And so, it, it's no more an outreach. Can't you call it Elijah's church? A man who aspires to be great, following multiple, multiple roads, will arrive at nowhere, at no place, at no destination. You desire to be so, so great. And then this one talk to you, you join. You want to make it in business. Five people are your counselors. Different businesses at the same time. You have failed already. One step. <laughs> at a time. So this night, you will permit me. I, I'm going to pray with you. But before I pray, I'm, I'm going to help you. Because some of us have me as the, your spiritual father. And at the same time, you have four Facebook pastors as also your spiritual fathers. I've been on program now for days. For the past five days now. And for the five days I've been on program, there are things God has shown to me. And I'm very intentional about my decisions. I know what I'm chasing after. I know what I'm pursuing. What's your family pattern? In the family of Abraham, there were lies. In the family of Abraham, there were this fallen behavior and fallen attitude, desire, uncontrollable desire for fair women. So Abraham fell in love with a fair woman. Isaac loved a fair, a fair woman. Jacob fell in love with a fair woman. Down to Joseph, they were all loving fair women. Down to David, it was fair women everywhere. Is it not fair woman that made Jacob to serve another seven years? He said, give me Rebecca. Is it Rebecca? Eh? Give me Rebecca. And then they gave him Leah. <laughs> After seven years of service, they gave him Leah. Now, giving him Leah, I want to ask. It was Rachel, eh? Now, giving him Leah, it was Leah they gave to him. Now, giving him Leah, how come he didn't know that this actually, that this woman was, was not Rachel, that this woman was was Leah. Can I tell you the reason? Because whatever you sow, you reap. So he deceived the father and took the blessing belonging to Esau. 
And so another man also deceived him and gave him a fake blessing. So he reaped actually what he sowed. Beyond reaping what he sowed. Beyond reaping what he sowed. It was a family bloodline and a family pattern. What the family was actually, Re, uh, Leah was, was a, a chocolated in complexion lady. She wasn't fair. But for Rachel, she had a fair complexion, very elegant, blessed with all apparatus. And so when they denied him the access to what he had paid for for seven years, the Bible says he took a journey again and signed yet again he signed. He signed and said, give me a second chance to serve yet another seven years, to make it 21 years of service. I'd rather die in service than not marrying a fair woman. It's in my bloodline. It's a roots. It's a family pattern. Such behavior, agility, in pursuing negativity can only be found in the family of Abraham. only be found in the family of Jacob and I want to ask you what's your family bloodline if I come into your family what would be the first thing that is very obvious that without asking question I can literally see that this thing is very visible in some family is drunkenness it's a nature So I'd like you to go to Jeremiah chapter 33. But before I pray in the name that is above every other name. Before I preach, I speak over your life. Over the lives of everyone hearing the sound of my voice. That whatever evil propelled by the demonic curses reigning in your ancestral lineage in the pattern and in the blood vessels of the men in the lineage of your grandfather and your great grandfather tonight by the blood of Jesus I decree that that evil blood in your system in your blood vessels let them be flushed away now in the name of Jesus. Let them be flushed away in the name of Jesus. I resuscitate every dead vessels in you. Every dead glory in you. Every dead dominion in you. I command divine resuscitation in the name of Jesus. I implement a new legacy. I implement a new law. I implement a new rule. And I decree from today, let Jesus take over. In the name of Jesus. I saw this thing. And that's what I'm telling you. Go to your village. You will see people who have your character. When I stepped my leg to, to, to Eket, and I spoke to three black men, I saw a nature, and I told the boys that were working with me, I said, there is a problem in this, in this locality. And then they said, what problem is that? I said, there, is a, there are two major problems in this environment. One, is a problem of pride. Two is a problem of greed. And it is rolling around this environment. I saw the angel flying all over the air. It will take the grace of God for anybody that, that hails from that root or that hails from that cloud from anywhere around their cats to be delivered from the evil of greed and the evil of pride. Arrogancy. I only spoke to three black men and I saw the nature. I didn't pray. When I entered 
Sobong Falls Village during his father's burial. I saw a nature and I didn't need anybody to tell me. I saw a nature of covetousness. Covetousness. What's the name of that village? Your village, your village. Eh? Itadibom. That is in Ibotikara. Now, that nature is in that village propelling men to take it to take to take decisions they don't ought to. So we have people living against them, themselves and against their will. Because there's a fallen demon. The demon of what? Covetousness. The spirit of taking what is not theirs. The spirit of converting, converting, that is gathering things. Upon gathering, you still want to gather more. They can kill just to take what is not theirs. Ibo Tokara. When I went to Ibak, Ibak there, I saw a nature. And I won't fail. I won't fail to tell you. That every locality, including Andoni, an average Andoni man would, would, would meddle with three things. One is idol worship. Two is drunkenness. And then three is being satisfied with poverty. Very, very comfortable. They live, they live like they are, they are living in luxury. So the moment you can buy two boats and like five paddle and maybe some small nets, a big man, you no longer look for things. Because there is a deity, a fallen goddess, a fallen demon in that vicinity that imposes evil destiny on men and on women. Go and find out why you behave the way you behave because it can only be found in your village. That thing you are behaving can only be found in that particular place where you were born. There are things you struggle with and you can't get yourself out of it. And you keep asking yourself, why is it that I cannot stop this thing? Go to the village, you will find it there. There are several others like you who are going through the same thing only in your village. Some battles are battles of village. Battles of location. Battles of localities. You are not short for nothing. Go to your village. You see why you are short. You don't have a, a very big, big, massive nose for nothing. Flat, massive. No, no, there are nose like a lady shouldn't carry. Just to disfigure you. Just to just to end your your beauty. They will fix that nose there and say, just to let you know that you came from a place. So each time you try to behave away, they remind you. Don't forget you're not the one having you're not the only one having this flat, big, drummy nose. You don't, have, you don't have that small ear for nothing. It's in the village. There are some ears you see. You begin to ask them, what's going on? Now, whatever you see around you is something, an environment. An environment actually deposited it. Do you look for the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm short? Why? Oh, you've not seen Mary. You've not seen my mother. Even when I said I want to get tall. Because in our family, I, I can find many people like me there. Many people I'm taller than. So when I see some of them, I say, wow, I, I, that means I'm blessed. You are not 
got that way for nothing. You took it from somewhere. I want to show you the command of an environment. The strict instruction of an environment. This is the only reason when I see people coming to church and I see them, I see them carry their, carry their shoulders, you know, I, I know that they are behaving from a place. Now, what is inspiring? What is inspiring the proud nature of a poor man? What is inspiring proudness in a man that is broke? It's coming from a place. A place. You can't take it away from anybody from a cat. It will take the grace of God. I saw Boda Boda man, Boda Boda, we called him to ask him question. I saw the way he was behaving towards me. And then I looked at him. I said, ah, environment has ripped you of your, of your original character. This thing is not your own. And then I ask him how much. Direct us to that place. I'm to drive in my car. You are to drive in your border border. Don't you see the difference? When he stopped, I greeted him first. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. He didn't answer the greetings. He said, where are you going? And then I said, I'm, I'm looking for any place they call resort. The Lord showed me in a vision. He said, around there is where I should plant a church ministry, a church church. He said, he knows the place. He took us and landed us where we don't know. Then when we arrived there, I said, how much? He said, he said, 1,000. I said, for what? Then we had to sort out for 500. I don't know if it is 1,000 or 500 we gave to him. And then we gave it to him. And he couldn't say thank you. He drove away. That nature is not his own. It's a fallen nature of an environment. It's a nature imposed. A nature superimposed on him by the cause of where he actually came from. The locality where he grew up from. And before a prophet would deliver him from that nature. They should take him through the process of rebirth. A spirit should give birth to him again. And then he should, he should be renamed. He should answer a different name from what he's answering. So many of us here, you need to change your names. The implication of answering a name that came out from the mouth of which, a witch doctor is terrible. No matter the meaning of the name, you will never manifest it. So long ago, first called you that name. Is evil and meant evil for you. Jeremiah chapter 35. Read from me from verse number one. Jeremiah, the word which came unto Jeremiah saying, The Lord in the days of Jehoakim, the Jehoakim, go ahead. Jehoakim, the son of Josiah, mm. king of Judah, saying, yes. Go unto the house of the Rechabites. And speak unto Not them. Not the Rechabites, the Rechabites. Rechabites. And speak unto them. And bring them into the house of the Lord. Into one of the chambers. And give them wine to drink. Then I took Jezaniah, the son of Jeremiah. The son of Hapaziniah. Go ahead. And his brethren and all his sons. And the whole house of Rechabites. Yes. And I brought them into the house of the Lord. Into the chamber of the sons of Hanan. The sons of Igdalia, a man of God, which was by the chamber of oh the princes, God. which was above the chamber of Maziah, the son of Shalom, the keeper of the door. Hold on. Who took them there? Who was sent by God? And are you aware that Jeremiah was the, one of the most respected prophets in the time of old? When Jeremiah is speaking, kings bow down to listen. 
Jeremiah went to the house of a poor, a poor, a, a poor legendary, poor legendary, a house of a of men and women who have nothing. Went to that house, took the word of God with him to the house, and said, "Thus saith the Lord, Come with me. Let me take you to where you can be made." Who are you not to listen? It is Jeremiah. Why, who are you? They followed him because of his priesthood, his office, and his position in the environment and where he was. But look at what the Bible says. Proceed. And I sat before the sons of the house of Rechabites, the pots Rechabites. full of wine and the, cups. The house where they are is not even theirs. That's how poor they are. And then he took them somewhere. Listen to what. Listen, listen. Go ahead. And I said unto them. I said unto them. Drink ye wine, but they said, We will. Drink. Don't say yet the Lord. He said, Drink ye wine. But they said, We will drink no wine. We will drink no wine. For Jonadab, the son of Rechab, yes. our father commanded us, saying, There is a command in a fallen family that we should not meddle with anything that looks, that have the look or the nature of wine. That simply means celebration should never be found around us. It's a family. <laughs> oh. oh God Please go ahead You shall drink no wine Neither ye nor your sons forever For, Forever Forever There are things you cannot achieve Because it is not permitted in the family There are heights And all teach you can fly Because the family doesn't permit it. There are men and women you cannot sit with because the family doesn't permit it. There are people you cannot consult with, you cannot meet with, you cannot relate with because the family does not permit it. There are velocities and volumes of naira, dollars and pounds you cannot touch because the family does not permit it. There is a height you can fly. Not because you don't work so hard. Not because you don't sweat. Not because you don't use your medulla oblongata. Not because you don't, you don't invest time in doing the right thing. But because it is not approved. It is not legalized in the family. It is not acceptable in the family. Destiny is given from families given from families the greatest warfare of your life will be determined by the family you came from the family where you came from the greatest warfare of your life will be determined by the family where you what you came from you hail from there are families of anger families where everyone is in induced with the spirit and spell of anger you try to talk somebody down he looks at you and said why why would you do that my friend keep quiet get out you're a stupid person you're an idiot it is not him talking it is family altar family altar is speaking the spirit of anger is not a willing act it is a superimposed act it is an imposed act on man. Many have lost important relationship due to the spirit of anger. Many have left important places because of anger. Many have lost many positions, many, many things, many valuable things, many important things have been dismissed from the lives of many people because of anger. It is not a willing act. It is not
not it is not something they did just on their own it is something that is propelled by family background foundational powers orders in the family said how dare you how can you come and keep relationship with this kind of great man offend him get him angry so you, you he can he can he can send you away there are many people who spoil things and they don't know how they go about spoiling things spoil relationships they don't know how to talk before they know they say things that truncate important relationships then they keep asking themselves how did it happen there is no great man that relates with men and women who talk anyhow. It's not there. No great man manages wrong words. I mean wrong, wrong speech all the time. They don't manage it. They don't tolerate it. You do it the first time, you commit it the second time, the third time, the fourth time you're out. Sometimes even the third time. Sometimes even the second, you're out. yourself tell me what you can see inside of you it can be jealous it can be jealous jealousy is a spell it's a spell very deep deep dark spell it can be envy there are people that can't do without envying people they envy even people who, who they are supposed to help they, they, still, they still envy them they envy everything, including men and women that are supposed to be at their mercy. They still envy. You have everything. This person has just one thing. You still envy the person. You don't count your everything. You count his one thing. These are fallen demons of a place. They come out from one place. You can do everything. When once they give one thing to one other person, it gets you offended. I gave this young man here 500,000 and I then gave this one 50,000. This one got angry. No, this one got angry and said, why would you give him 50,000? Whereas he took 500,000. It's a demon. It's not normal. It's not normal. These characters I'm explaining now, they are not things you have free, free you, there are not things you have dominion over. There are not things you have power over. There are things that have power over you. You woke up in the morning. You saw something bad. Maybe between you and your spouse. Your wife to be. You don't know what happened to one lady. When she came back home. From the market. And then entered the bathroom. They were living in the self contained and then saw a lady's pant hung, hung in the in the bathroom there. She came out in furiosity and deep tempest and went into the parlor and scattered the television. Began destroying things. The guy tried holding her back to tell her that this thing it's not the way you think of. When she had broken this, broken that, went and carried the job papers of the guy and things, went, took it outside, sell it a place. It was later, few, about an hour or two after, the cousin, I mean the sister, the, the direct sister, the younger sister of the guy, came out and said, brother, what's happening? Why is the whole house scattered? And what's happening? What's happening to your... I saw your girlfriend outside and then she came in and said so this is this is the prostitute anger will never allow you to ask questions especially anger prepared by demonic foundations anger empowered by demonic foundations they will never allow you to investigate or ask questions they will make you take actions that will bring you into eternal, you know, 
regret, everlasting regret. Anger is a family pattern spirit. There are families where father is a very angry person. Mother is a very angry person. Elder brother, if you touch him, you're finished. Second brother, if you touch ah, that one is a viper. There are families. The girls and the ladies in the family, they are like, they are like this guy, Undertaker. Those are the girls. They are like Undertaker. If they hold you and take you up, you're finished. It can only be found in the family. Every family has a pattern. Every family has a destiny. Which is your own. There are families where they don't, they lack respect. Nobody, they don't have respect for anybody. It's that way in the family. They don't have respect for anybody. It's, 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 it's in families. There are families where everybody has short-sightedness. You want to know why your eye at that young age, you want to know why you're having high blood pressure at that young age of 30, of 25, go to the family. You want to know why you're having, you're having that e evil problem of pile, that problem of, of, you cannot even explain that sickness in your body. It's in the family. There are many things only family can explain. Many things. Many things. Now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for every one of you hearing the sound of my voice. Every demonic deposit deposited on your life by the foundation and by the family where you hail from in the name that is above every other name. We decree by the blood. They are silenced right now. We silence those powers right now. We silence those demons right now. We silence those forces right now. Somebody hear the sound of my voice. I command them to be silenced. Let them be silenced. Let them be silenced. Let them be silenced. Say that amen like a believer. Shabakote. Marodo Mosiaga. Can you read down to verse 4? And I brought them into the house of the Lord. And I brought them into the house of the Lord. In the chamber of the sons of Hanan. Yes. The, the son of Igdalia, yes. a man of God, which was by the chamber of the princes. Yes. Which was above the chamber of Mazea, yes. the son of Shalom, the keeper of the door. Yes. And I set before the sons of the house of Rechabites, pots full of wine and cups. And I said unto them, drink ye wine. But they said, we will drink no wine for Jonadab, the son of Rechab, our father. Our father had given a, a, a direct instruction that wine should not be taken. And everything that will bring wine, including marriages. That's why you see young ladies, some ladies who stay 30, 40, 45, 50. No marriage. Even the ones that struggle to marry, they are on the way coming back home. Fighting every day. Oh, you think because your sisters does not tell you what they go through in the marriage. Tell them to open up. And they will tell you that some of them, they don't sleep at night. Read on. Our father commanded us, saying, You shall drink no wine, neither he nor your sons forever. Neither shall you build house, nor sow seed, nor plant vineyard. Imagine. You, you're not permitted to build houses. It's a foundational power. It's a demonic legacy. By the blood of Jesus, I command that legacy to be destroyed. Whatever is sustaining that evil legacy, in the name of Jesus, let it be destroyed. Somebody shall fire! You shall build no houses! Ah, you didn't hear it. Who's 
spoke to you? Who is that great great grandfather that made that evil with an offer? That used seven bitter cola to raise an altar for a fallen demon. To make a decree that no child from the family will ever build a house. By the influence of the blood of Jesus, I came in the might of God. I came in the might of the cross. I came in the capacity of my call. I came in the fulfillment of my encounter. And I speak over your life to you that is hearing the sound of my voice. Let every ordination from the witch God cover over your life and over your destiny. Right now, let that ordination be broken into pieces. Let it be broken into pieces. Let it be broken into pieces. So you can call this message ending evil legacies. Stretch your hands to me. That thing your grandmother did in the secret. And she died without telling anybody what she did. That thing that has introduced a demon to the family. That is knocking everybody down each time they want to rise. Several prophecies on your head. Yet no fulfillment. You keep asking why. You cannot lay hold on the reason. I came this night to, to announce to you that the vulture that comes to pick your prophecies, the vulture that comes to steal the word, the, the word that is given to you from men of God, from the altar, from priests, from pastors, from prophets, from apostles, in the name that is above every other name. When next time vulture shall arise with his ugly head, with an ugly head, the hand of God shall kill the vulture. I said the hand of the Lord shall kill the vulture. Somebody shall fire. Lift your two hands to heaven. Announce to your cloud. I am not like the men of my village. I come out of that evil pot. I come out of the evil cold drop. I come out of the evil cold drop. I move out. Out of the place of barrenness. Out of the place of, 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 of no beauty. Out of the place full of anger. Somebody pray. I come out of the evil cold drop. I proceed. I proceed. I proceed. I proceed. So go do be keke vile le jere be kute be ke kakaba olambe le bina heso veveli edemi kagamu no mota Lord I break out of the cold room any power that wants to waste my life any power that wants to waste my relationship any power that wants to waste important relationships in my life let it be broken let it be broken. like my brothers I am not like my sisters Lord I break out of the control you spirit of drunkenness spirit of masturbation spirit of addiction spirit of anger spirit of laziness spirit of reluctancy spirit of negligence I break out of you I break out of you I break out of you somebody pray Marriages must walk after me. I am the beginning of good news. I came to introduce wine. I came to introduce wine. Somebody pray. I am the beginning of good news. I am the establishment of good news. I am the foundation for good news. Open your mouth and pray.
Shada da da balate. Ike ke 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 pe lesa ya. Ola pe ne pe ke to pe lesa. Oru pe pe ke vele kuta. Eka mo do pe pe ke vele ya. Oyire ne pe la kata. Ola nge ne pe la kato ve. Vime sobaya, sobaya da, sobaya da. Sorudia, sorudia. Ola jarede, le jarede pe ke la balata. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. message on Sunday. Our 
four son took a woman, impregnated her, had three children or two with her before getting married. And he got married this year. I don't know if it is this year or last year. Was it not this year we went? Last year, December. After they had been together since 2002 or 2003. A second son did the same. A first daughter went in. Had children in Abuja. Stayed with the man for many years. After about 13 to 15 years, they came to the village and said they want to do marriage. We considered and carried it out. This is after many, many days of prayers. Dry fastings. She had got missing. She was missing for more than, for more than 25 years. We didn't set our eyes on my elder sister, our first daughter. We didn't set our eyes on her because there is a legacy in the family that steals every first child, be it a boy or a girl. And I discovered that my first, my elder sister, the first daughter, is doing exactly what my mother's first son, what my mother's first child did, which is my our first daughter, our eldest daughter. Left the house and she had children right now, two children. My little daughter. There are patterns in the family. Check your own family, you will see it. And this is the reason why, until I die, until I leave this earth, I will never consult. With a character and a behavior that will warrant a woman coming into a house without marriage. And if God permits and says, Zebulon, you have to marry, then I will make it a marriage where even the gods that implemented the rules and the laws that no marriage in the family must attain. I must go to the land of the dead to give them invitation. Take your right hand up. Let me speak over you. I don't care what they did. How many goats they slaughtered. How many cows they buried. Just to erect an altar for that evil legacy. To make sure there are families where they say people can be rich. But nobody must be fulfilled. They said money can come. But there is never fulfillment. Say so let money come. But let there be none. To fulfill his. Or, has, or our destiny. There are. Wealthy wanderers. There are rich wanderers everywhere. They have money. But they are confused. More confused than madmen on the streets. Fulfillment is not in having money. Fulfillment is not in driving a car. That is not it. Those are the least, the least. The least. How much joy do you have? How much peace do you have? Father, I pray for everyone whose hands are lifted up. That the evil legacy traced to the paternal or to the maternal the evil legacy trace to 1978. The legacy, the evil legacy, the altar that was raised in 1952. The altar that was raised in 1974. The one that was raised in 1999. The one that was raised in year 2000. The one that was raised in 1937. The one that was raised about 70 years ago. As many as are hearing the sound of my voice. Whatever they implemented, whatever they said will never happen in that family. Whatever they said will never take place in that family. 
whether you are the only son that is here or you are the only daughter that is here or maybe you are two brothers or two sisters here i don't care but i pray for you in the name that is above every other name you will break that legacy you will break that legacy you will break that legacy Any height they said nobody would get to. Jesus. Any altitude they said no one will fly. Look at the way they are treating your mother. Is that how you want to be treated? Look at the way your husband is treating you. Is that how you want your the 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 the, 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 the future husbands to your children to treat your children? Where your husband kept you now, where you where you're living now, is that the life? Is that the life you want to live? Is that the life you want to live? That room where your father sleeps with your mother, is that the kind of room you would want your children to sleep with their own husbands and wives? If you don't stop it, they will become it. Check the life of your father. They are the typical example of what you are gradually becoming. Your mother married a wrong woman, a, a wrong man. And all her life was messed up. Have you taken enough time to deal with whatever made her to marry that man? Tonight, today's day is what? 17th March 2023. To every hand lifted above their heads i prophesy now with my two eyes closed in the name that is above every other name you are lifted above your fathers and mothers you are lifted above your ancestral lineage somebody here you are not a capital you are not a capital To the curses, the curses that made shame great men and women. Jesus. Look at that uncle of yours that en ended up a drunkard. Look at, look at, look at that woman. Look at that woman. How old is she? Look at her life. Look at. See that man drinking like, like, like he's, he's playing with water. See them. It took your father many years to build one house. It took your mother how many years to even discover her destiny? And if it took her 40 years, 50 years to discover her destiny, how many years will it take you? He said nobody will get married, nobody will buy a car, nobody will drive, nobody will build, nobody will do this, nobody will do that. I put my knees on the ground on your behalf. And I pray that whatever be the cause, whoever implemented it, whoever brought it to establishment, with one loud amen from you, let the cause be silenced. Let it be silenced. Let the cause be silenced. Let it be silenced. Let it be silenced. example of your father Amen. you are not a typical example of your mother Amen. I break the chains in the name of Jesus Amen. 
Oduna bianga gagalada. Iga gaga dodo boku vei. Oje oje de bine ketu le bino ufiana haka kala. Odu ambi ala hasi dinya nuyo no mnyena. Ite de biu no mo kaka koko mo dinya na. Soro bine ke luka bahasa. Everyone that made enchantments, incantations, no matter the language they use. I speak in the Holy Ghost and I reverse their pronouncements. I reverse their pronouncements. Somebody said, I remember like a thunder. If where you are is where your father gave to you, if everything you have is what your mother gave to you. Between now and November, may you begin a new genealogy. Amen. May, you, may you start a new root, Amen. a new foundation. Amen. May God use you to mount a new destiny Amen. in the entire family. Amen. I command the spirit of anger to leave you right now. Amen. The spirit of jealousy to leave you right now. Amen. The spirit of, of envy to leave you right now. Amen. Let the spirit of discomfort and discontentment let them leave you right now. Amen. The anointing upon my head will start working for you now. Amen. Let it work for you now. Amen. Let it work for you now. Amen. If you believe it, let the hand of God touch you now. Amen. Say the amen like a child of God. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Whether they visited the water, the river bank, God will reverse the curse. Amen. I'd like you to visit the altar now with a seed. Let me reverse the curse. I'm the priest here. Just come here with a sacrifice. Just the way they went there with a sacrifice. If even today is the, is the first or the last time you will ever give sacrifice, make sure you just make sure you stand here. Make sure something leaves you today. As many as have joined and praying this prayer, make sure. Whether you have it cash or not, if you can do transfer, there's no problem. Put the account on the screen. Give me my phone. I must partake in this. Every year, I do special deliverance prayer for myself. Every year. Deliverance for myself. Because I know what they call reinforcement. I know what is called what? Reinforcement. The devil is never tired. He walks around about the time, the clock. No matter how broke you are, stand before God's presence. Make sure you give. You give something. May this altar not take your property, your money, and leave you empty-handed. Your amen is sounding like a man without confidence. Whatever this altar takes from you, the altar shall take an action of implementing new rules and new regulations in your family. I stand also as a priest. Stand as a priest. I stand as a priest the way also they stood as priest. To place an injunction on great destinies. And I speak by the authenticity of God's word. 
by the incorruptible word, by the matchless name of Jesus. I command that everything that was done to pollute destinies and glories, with every one of you hearing the sound of my voice, standing before this altar, with one amen from you, let that evil be altered right now. Let it be reversed right now. Let it be nullified right now. Whatever was done, every pro projection, every programment to annihilate your destiny, to finish you up, to demoralize you, to end your destiny in the name that is above every other name, by the weight and capacity of the oil of God upon this altar, and upon my life, let God arise and end their evil programmage. Mysteriously, they made things turn against your father, mother, and people. Mysteriously, Jehovah will overturn their rules. Mysteriously, Jehovah will superimpose their, their decisions. Mysteriously, Jehovah shall truncate their efforts. I command the tsunami in the camp of your enemies. Somebody somewhere will begin to have running stomach. And that will lead to his or her death. While driving my brother and my dad to the park this evening. On the way, my elder brother was telling me a story of a rich man. He said, the man is so rich. But that how the man died. That nobody can tell what killed the man. And I knew it was God's judgment. When he finished, I was analyzing it in my soul. He said, the man went into the toilet. He wasn't sick. He just went into the toilet and sat on the, what do they call it? Eh? The WC sat on it and few seconds after he died there. He wasn't sick. No, no headache, nothing. He said when they took him to the hospital, the doctor said he had died for hours, more than 12 hours. So even while he was working as a human being, he had died. I pray for you. If there is any human being seated on your glory and your dominion, in a mysterious way, they shall be raptured from the earth. They shall be taken away from the earth. I'm asking God to strengthen you because you are the hope of the next generation. You will not fail your children. You will not fail your grandchildren. Amen. You will not fail your great grandchildren. Amen. Kings shall come out of you. Amen. Jesus, mighty name. Amen. Stretch your hands. Say it three times. I am not like my father. Two. Three. Now again, say it three times. I am not like my mother. In order to swindle you of your portion of greatness on earth. I command your soul to be strengthened to reject me. I command your soul to be empowered to, to reject and resist me. Any demon that carries the face of your mother. The face of your stepmother. The face of your sisters. The face of people you respect. 
to feed you in the dream. In the name of Jesus, I command a roadblock. I command a roadblock. I command a roadblock. 